Welcome to the homework for lesson seven. This is module six of second grade. Name first, please. And we have one row of an array is drawn below. Complete the array with X's to make four rows of five. So there's one row of five already, and we need four rows of five. And it says draw horizontal lines to separate the rows. Now we're trying to make this an array, so we want to try and be careful that, right, that we have columns, columns and rows. So take your time on this. And don't forget it says to draw those horizontal lines. Doesn't take that much more time to just slow down a little bit and be careful and then it will come out looking right because if it doesn't look like an array when you're done and it looks all lopsided and goofy you might have to erase it and do it over just take a little bit of time and then you only have to do it once there and that's uh, supposed to have four rows of five and that's one two three four five. i drew five rows of five oops now i messed that up so i'm going to erase that extra row draw an array with x's that has four columns of five and draw vertical lines to separate the columns and fill in the blanks okay four columns of five so by four columns of five i'm going to draw one column of five first one two three four five all right and now i just need to have four of these there's three columns lines in between and these are fives There's 20 X's. Four rows of five is 20. That's what we drew on part A. And then six columns of five. What would six columns of five be? Hmm. Well, I'd have to think I'd need two more fives, right? Which is a 10, so that would be 30. 20 plus 10 more would be 30. Draw an array of X's with three columns of four. So we need columns of four. And now I need three of those. So three, I need one more. Now just be careful with these because when you read these, this is a time where it starts getting a little goofy where you're drawing call you thinking okay three columns of four that's easy and you start doing this and you draw three rows of four instead this is when it did that kind of that can be this can get tricky and you can be thinking rows and drawing columns or usually it's columns and you and you draw rows so just be careful and then look at it after you're done and say, do I have three columns of four? Yeah, that's a column. There's four in it. So I have, okay, good. Draw an array of X's with three rows of four. So I need a row. Now, one of the strategies you can use for this too, is if you see three rows of four, you can also do this. If you're thinking about it, instead of drawing one row and then making two more so that you have three of them. You can also think of it this way, which might help. You know you're going to have three rows, so just start your rows. There, I know I'm going to have three rows. And now I'm just going to make sure I have four in each one. You can also do it that way. That can help you. And so I have fours, and there's three of them. There's twelve. Three columns of four would be... 12 that's what we had up here 
you don't need to draw that arrow. I just want to draw it there so you can see what I'm looking at. That's the three columns of four up there. And then here's the three rows of four right here that we just, that I just drew. They're both 12. In the following problem, separate the rows or columns with horizontal or vertical lines. Draw an array of X's with three rows of three. So let's try that trick again that I just used. I know there's going to be three rows. So that's there's my first row is going to start there. My second row will start there, and that'll be my third row. And now I'm supposed to have three in each row. So that's there. And I and it, since it's rows, um, I'm going to draw horizontal lines that separate them. So that's three threes, and that's nine. Three rows of three is nine. Now it says draw an array of x's with two more rows of three than the array in problem three. So this is the array in problem three. So we're going to draw another array with two more rows of three than that one has. You don't need the green circle. So this one had one, two, three rows. This one is going to have two, one, two more rows. And there's three in each row. Write a repeated addition equation to find the total number of x's. So now I just have more threes, right? I have two more rows, so I have two more threes. So first I had three threes, and then I need now I need two more, and that's fifteen. Draw an array of x's with oh, and this says rows. So I, I have to don't forget the horizontal lines. Right, because it's set up here. Separate rows or columns with horizontal or vertical lines. Okay. Draw an array of X's with one less column than the array in problem four. So that's this is the array in problem four. I'm going to redraw the same array, but without one of the columns. All right. So it's going to have two columns, and it's going to have five in each column, right? And let me clean up this green stuff. And there's my vertical line, because this time we're looking at columns, so I want a vertical line to separate columns. And write a repeated addition equation. And I'm looking at columns now, so I'm, I'm seeing 5 in each column. So I can just say 5 plus 5 equals 10. 